Hello my lovely friends, welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, hi my name is Melissa or Missa, welcome. So I have work in an hour and a half and I thought I would show you how I do my everyday work makeup. I don't go to work looking like my usual makeup self. I go to work looking usually like this which I think is quite natural and just not dramatic but I'm going to do my hair, I'm going to do my makeup with you, I'm going to use my beautiful new Morphe palette. But yeah we're just going to get ready together, I'm going to show you like a few little tips and tricks I do like every day with my makeup. I'm going to show you my annoying cats, we're going to drink a lot of Monster, we're going to get some post, we're going to have a chatty-ish time. I don't actually know because when I started filming I'd literally just woken up and I think I was really grumpy but anyway. This is the look we're doing, very plain, very simple, but I think pretty, not offensive. And uh, also I will show you how it looks when I get back home at like midnight tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up, and if you just wanna get ready with me for a day at work, then do just keep on watching. <laughs> it's legitimately tragic how bad I look right now. But, we're gonna fix it, <laughs> promise. Okay, I usually start with my hair for, like if I'm, if I'm doing my high, like, clipping pony, I usually start with my hair because I like to get it out my face anyway. I took out my tape ins, they're actually inside that towel right now, just kind of like drying off because I washed them and conditioned them and stuff in the hopes that I'd be able to. Just try to pull the sticker off of this and just dropped all my brushes. I'm going to put you to the cat's protection because someone needs to protect you from me. Usually if I'm working at 3, which I am today, I wake up at like 9, but today I didn't wake up till 11, so it's already 23 minutes past 11, so I had to like feed the cat and brush my teeth and stuff, so yeah. Two my extensions out because I need to re-dye my hair, it's brown again, not black, my uh, tape and extensions are black, so I need to obviously re-dye my hair and then reattach the tape ins because they grow out so my hair is very thin and rubbish <sighs> so postman hold on i'm never gonna get any makeup put on at this point none none oh it's my wee she in order i wanted some more dramatic lashes for when i'm doing dramatic makeup looks what else did i get oh i just got like uh earrings and stuff because i feel like I have no earrings anymore. Like I've got dramatic ones but I don't really... Oh and I got the wee puffs. The wee Shein puffs to test against uh, my other puffs. Some like no, like fake nose rings. And then, oh yeah I got the like side swept like cat eye lashes as well to try. That's pretty cool. I don't think, I'm not going to wear either of those today. And then something from Be Perfect. I think they launched tanning products. I don't tan, so I'll give it to Danielle. Bronze Boost Instant Matte Tarn Tan Tropical Scented. And a puff. Not a puff, a mitt. And Bronze Boost Light Inst Light Medium Instant Tan. I might keep the light medium. Give Daniela the darker one. Right, I'm just gonna throw my hair up. I've been trying to do it for about half an hour now. I got, by the way, this El Net dupe in Aldi. Fantastic hairspray. It was in high winds yesterday and it never, like, a hair was not out of place. See how, like, thin and rubbish my hair is, but I do have a solution for that, don't worry. And this goes in a little bun. Okay. Okay, hair done. All that needs is my fake ponytail attached and I do that when, once I've got dressed. So I just need to moisturise and I'm just using up this Bobbi Brown. Like I'm just trying to finish it up. I do have a brand new one, uh, but waste not, want not. So, I mean this does have life in it. Uh, my good friend Nissa, she has sausage. She actually got me a new one. I'm going to say for my birthday, which by the way, it's in nine days. And... Uh, she was like, why are you using that? <laughs> yep, 
here's your new one. It's like, I can't touch it until this one's all finished up. I actually was so tired when I got in last night. I just took my makeup off and then put my pajamas over like my work top that I'd worn all day. Oh, that by the way, I burnt my head with hair straighteners. So just ignore that. I'm pretending it's not there. Saucy darling. We've got monster, don't worry. My eye makeup is going to be super duper easy. So I'm actually gonna start with base. And I just kind of cycle between my drugstore foundations for work. It's never really, I don't know, I never really use my high-end ones. So today I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible 32 Hour Fresh Wear. This, I remember really liking this. This is in what shade? It might be ever so slightly dark actually. What shade are you in? 20 ivory. Yeah, I just don't tend to wear my high-end foundations for work just because it's work and I'd rather save them. Good thing about this is I can show you how this makeup looks at the end of the day. That looks so pretty on the skin and it just evens me out. I've actually got, I would say, bad skin right now. Like for me, I feel like it's got a lot of redness. Um, I know why, it's because my period's here so my skin's being a little bit iffy and I'm obviously going to take my Huda concealer. I've bought and got a few new concealers recently but I just cannot stop wearing this one. It's just the best. This concealer makes my dreams come true. It will probably pay off your student loans. It will clean your house for you. It is really that good. My skin is just so even. I mean I look obviously ghastly because I'm just flat and plain but like in terms of my skin, it's so evened out and beautiful. Do you know what I've been loving around my eyes is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. A lot of powders I've found recently kind of oxidize underneath my eyes and make everything a bit dark. This does not, it's literally like a white clear powder and it's so lightweight and it goes on with my puff so beautifully and uh, yeah there's like no oxidizing at all but it also sets my like makeup in place I don't put it all over my face but around my eyes for the past I'd say week this is what I've been doing and I absolutely love it and it does not make my under eyes look too testicly I am the kind of person that cannot be late for things I would rather be an hour early than 30 seconds late. It's just impossible for me to actually be late. I need to remind myself, I'm gonna put this on my forehead lines as well. I need to remind myself that I'm always like 45 minutes early for work, so maybe I don't need to rush so much. I just love how that looks around my eyes especially. And then I'm gonna take, where's my powder? The number seven airbrush away translucent finishing powder for the rest of my face. I love this, I've used it a lot. And obviously I'm just using my Trigwell Puff. I'm not gonna go on about it, but is it the best thing in the world? Yes. <laughs> I would always though rather look a little bit pale than a little bit too tanned. We need to bronze up. We really need to bronze up. I'm gonna use my Hula Light. It's such a beautiful bronzer on my skin tone because I am pale. And I love the Hula formula. When they brought out Hula Light, it literally changed my life. It's like pale skin perfection. I get to really hit my forehead because I have a large forehead and it's very exposed. Honestly, Hula Light is legit definitely a favourite bronzer. I have other favourite bronzers as well, but this is like ever since it launched, it has been a favourite. I can't believe both cats have settled down. Usually takes them way longer than this in the morning. I'm gonna go right over my nose because I am going to do my full freckles because I do them every single day. Okay, done. Then I'm going to contour with my Essence Contour Kit. I'm definitely, as always, just using a variety of high-end and drugstore. I still have sleep marks, by the way, in my face. I was having like a walking dead dream uh, when I woke up. Oh, and last night, was it last night or two nights ago, I started watching Happy Valley. I'm really enjoying it. It's because I'm on season 17 or is it 18, of Grey's Anatomy. And quite honestly, I'm heavily losing interest in it after watching so many seasons. So I feel like it's just obviously not as good as it was. 
Uh, so I've been kind of straying and trying to find other TV series. Yeah, Happy Valley seems good. It's a little bit depressing. <laughs> I need to find a nice TV series that isn't depressing. But it's also really good. I wish I could go back in time and never have seen The Walking Dead before. Just so I could watch the first few seasons again with the joy that I felt the first time I watched it. And I haven't seen the final few seasons because I lost interest again because I feel like a lot of TV shows just drag on too long and then the storyline dies and the it's not interesting and main characters die off and then you just don't care about the new ones. I'm quite bad like that with TV shows. I just use an eyeshadow brush by the way to contour my nose. I've never really found like a proper brush that's small enough that I just diffuse it. You see my paleness is totally being fixed. Sometimes I think my face has got like too many angles and shadows and dips to it. But I'll have to just <laughs> deal with it, don't we? I love my Milani Dolce Perla highlighter for work because it's pretty but it's not too much. It's not like super intense. And I don't really like to look like a disco ball at work with my highlight. This is my like one of my subtle choice highlighters I call it. <laughs> Just like blends it in my skin. I'm looking at it in the pan. I don't know. It's the pictures of this on Beauty Bay that sold it to me ages ago when I bought it. Yesterday I did pink lips and I'll be honest I wasn't like feeling it that much. I liked it. It was alright. But I wasn't like enamoured. So I think today I'm going to do nudes so I'm going to do like a peachy blush because that is what goes. I'm going to take my Rimmel Maxi Blush in 004 Sweet Cheeks. These Rimmel Maxi Blushes are so good. And I like blush after highlight, I don't know why. I also really don't like red lipstick on me when I have such dark hair. It's really annoying. I think the dark hair and the red lipstick, it's, it's a very like iconic classic look, isn't it? But I just don't know if it's for me. This blush is stunning and I'm just putting a good amount on. I'm gonna go throw my brows on and I also need to charge my battery. And I'm gonna put my uh, faux freckles on and then we will come back and do the eyes together. They're gonna be very, very simple. But I'm gonna use a new palette. I got this as a early birthday present from my friend Anne-Marie. It's the Morphe 18 CT Matte Essentials. As soon as I saw this like on Trendmood and stuff, I posted it in the sausages, like in the Telegram group. And people were like laughing at me and like, you don't actually like that. Like, why do you like that? What on earth? This is maybe my favorite palette in the world. Like, I'm not joking, I've used this every single day since I got it for brows. I've used it for full freckles, for eyes. It is stunning. This shade here for full freckles mixed with this one. This matte white inner corner is stunning. This one is great on my brows with this one. Like, it's a really great palette. I'm gonna obviously use it today on my eyes, but I'm gonna go throw my brows on and full freckles with this, and then I'll be right back. Just before I do my eyes, I want to put on some nice like rehydration on my skin. So this is the Beauty Crop We Cherie. Only because my Glow Milk one is like really running out. And this one is lovely. I wouldn't really use it as a setting spray, but as like a midway through your makeup, soak up powders, bring a bit of life back into your skin kind of spray. It's really lovely. I'm just dead texting that Marie right now. And it's Friday, it's the day that the Cosmic Brushes palette launches. It's only gonna be 18 pounds. I don't know how it's £18. It's actually baffling to me. That is so cheap for like a £20 incredible quality palette. I don't get it. Do a close up of my skin just so you can see it. So you can see kind of what I'm looking at. Really nice. Uh, I never put any effort into my brows for work, so don't look at them too much. But like my skin is glossy, it's got lovely coverage. It's just, it looks good with that lovely drugstore foundation. By the way, that was the end of yesterday's monster, so. I love this one. Yeah, I really don't have time to fanny about, but I want to see what I would look like with like a fake nose piercing. 
I've never ever had any facial piercings and I think people do look cool with them but I've never like wanted my nose pierced or anything but I feel like recently I've been changing my mind a little bit. <laughs> I suppose you can put that on the side can you? Like that is not me. Who is she? I'll wear that on like a night out. <laughs> I definitely would wear that on like a night out and pretend I was someone else. Right, star of the show, in my opinion. Again, Morphe 18 CT Matte Essentials. This is sold out on their website, but it is on ASOS. And I'm gonna do the look I did yesterday, but ever so slightly darker. So yesterday I used this shade all over my eyes. I'm gonna use this one just beside it. This palette did come with a name sheet, but of course I immediately threw it in the bin. It's actually a little bit darker than I meant to go. Yeah, I've used this for the past couple of days and I literally adore this palette so much. I'll throw up my swatches on screen so you can see them. And I do kind of want to do my whole like siren eye look using this palette as well. So I might just do like a quick video on it on its own, but it just has the most beautiful, perfect neutral tones in it. I think because I put that setting spray on, this shade is going on a little bit more intense than I meant it to. I will work with it and then I'll put that down below as well. I genuinely think I could pan this palette at some point because the shades are perfect and it's got so many beautiful greys in it. The black is really intense, the white is really intense. And I'm still a parakeet at heart, like I still love my bold bright colourful makeup but I'm just not going to wear that to work. And I think a lot of us are the same, like we love the fun makeup but would we wear it to work? Definitely not. I'm just going to take that same shade mixed with the one beside it and just blend it into my crease with a big fat fluffy brush. Then I am a Morphe fan and I have been ever since I got into makeup because it's at an affordable price point for the brushes and the palettes and a lot of people like really poo poo on Morphe and I do understand especially at the height of like Jaclyn Hill and James Charles and all that shilling their codes like that really did put me off them too but in terms of like the actual palettes and stuff like I love my brushes I love the couple of Morphe palettes that I have and uh, they always perform well and again they're at a price point that I like so I am a Morphe fan. I'm just going through a variety of the lighter shades and just blending this as much as I can. I'm just gonna go for that dead-eyed neutral look it seems today. What waterliner will I put on? I'm just gonna put my Rimmel nude eyeliner on. I have had this for goodness knows how long. Every time I use it I'm like that must be out of date by like five years. My eyeballs haven't fallen off yet. And then I'm gonna take, don't know where my brush is, this little brush and this second lightest shade mixed with the white for the inner corner. It's such an intense matte white. Then I took, like I did yesterday, I'm just going to do the same thing because I thought it looked so pretty, Fenty Diamond Bomb, which is a highlighter, but I quite often use it as an eye topper. I'm just like getting my finger in there. See so yeah, it's just really, it's just like a wash of sparkliness. And I'm just going to press it over my eyeballs and it just gives you that like almost like wet glistening effect to your it kind of looks like you've got like eye gloss on which is a look that I love but I wouldn't wear it to work because it would surely just ruin your makeup I'm gonna go underneath as well Fenty Diamond Balm is like if you were gonna get one product from Fenty it'd be this 
or the liquid lipsticks because it is such a like multi-use. I'll put it on my lips, make them look like I've got lip gloss on all over the eyes like that. Obviously as a highlighter, like it's just stunning. I'm gonna use my setting spray at this point. Yeah, many people have texted me like, Melissa, please stop, stop using that as a setting spray. It's literally not gonna happen. It is not gonna happen. I'm gonna go put this lash on then I'll do this one with you because I do an ever so slightly weird-ish thing I think for putting my lashes on but I feel like it really helps so I'll be back in one sec. Okay first of all if you like videos about like plane crash investigations and like why planes crash Green Dot Aviation on YouTube. Green Dot Aviation. Wow I just found their channel yesterday and I am obsessed uh, and I just wanted you to know that because I absolutely adore like plane crash videos. Right, eyes. I'm gonna use the Melt Glue. I got this recently. It's really, really good. I'm not saying go out and buy it. I still prefer my Velour Lash Glue, but I'm trying this and I've used it. So I'm just uh, gonna keep using it. So I paint my lash glue on. I'm gonna do like a good kind of thick Band, probably like two three millimeters of lash glue on my lid and then I'm gonna paint this on top of my lashes this isn't really that weird but I know a lot of people are like why do you do that it really works that's why all the way inner corner to outer corner because I don't like cutting these lashes because they fit perfectly if I don't cut them I'm using my Eyler 117s these are pre-glued but I just peel off the pre-glue because I don't like it. I don't think it sticks. 117s are my favourite everyday lash. They are just the tips. And taking it right on the inner corner. Right, so the slightly weird thing that I do is I then close my eye. I need to make sure I'm on camera. And I push my eyelid down on top of the lash band and because I put quite a chunky line of glue it will stick down to the top of the lash band and it just means that the lash looks more natural and like it's actually growing out of your eye like the hairs and also it just keeps it even more in place. So that's how I, I stick my lashes on, especially on a natural day, like today where I want them, like where I don't have any eyeliner or anything on, then I'm using my Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara and that's it. It just means like, I feel like the top of the lashes looks, you know, you're not seeing like a lash band really. And it just holds the lashes in place really, really, really well. So that's how I do it when I'm not wearing eyeliner especially. But you can't do it with a lot of lashes that have a thick lash band. It has to be like an invisible lash band like the Eyler ones have. I take that lash off and put it more in the inner corner. Uh, just to try and get it to match the other one. It doesn't match exactly, whatever. I'm trying to compete with sausage. She's being so naughty, opening my drawers, stealing my sponges. literally the best thing in the world and the most annoying thing in the world. I'm gonna do a very pale nude so this is Melt Bare Lip Liner and I can't talk when I'm doing this. Another thing that I do that I saw on TikTok is I round off my top lip to make it look bigger uh, which when I first saw people doing it I was like mm, I don't think so and now I tried it I'm like okay now I can't not like I can't do, not do it now because now it makes my lip like people asked if I had lip filler when I first posted a picture of it so you just literally round it out you don't do the pointy bits that I have I just round it out so like I I almost do like a straight line over that cupid's bowl bit and then I keep the sides the same like I don't overdraw the sides I make such a mess doing lips my makeup hasn't quite turned out how I expected, but I'm, I'm not hating it. 
If you want a really nice pot concealer for just fixing mistakes, the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer Pomade is wonderful for fixing mistakes. Somebody's just yelled at a seagull to shut up. You're a naughty sausage, aren't you? You're a naughty little sausage, a naughty little sausage, a naughty little sausage. <laughs> I was trying to find my MAC lipstick. I don't know where I put it. So I'm going to use my P. Louise Hooked on You. This is very pale. Uh, and I don't know if they actually sell this because this was in the advent calendar and my friend got it and she didn't like it. So I bought it off her. It's very pale nude. And I just want my lips to be... I hate when you lose a lipstick and you just think, where on earth could that might be my humbug? I think my lips look so much bigger by rounding off the top quite a lot. And you can still see my cupid's bow, but I literally can't get rid of it because I've got, like I said, quite defined structure there so it doesn't like disappear. Okay, that is it. I am gonna throw on my work t-shirt, like a clean one. And uh, then we will put my hairpiece in. It is five to one. We're in good time. We're in okay time, but I need to just hurry up a little bit. Okay, fake ponytail that I just yanked off last night in my hurry to get into bed. Let me just give it a brush. I can link this down below. I got it on Amazon. It was less than 10 pounds and it's the best quality one I have found. Trust me. So it's got like a grip. And you just want to put that in the top of your ponytail boosh. If I can find it. There we go, on top of the bun. And then you just wrap the ponytail around. Also, I do not like claw grip ponytails. They stick out too much from my head. And then you want to wrap it around as tight as possible. So that you don't have an, like, an enormous, big, chunky bun thing going on and then you just wrap this hair around to cover the velcro it's literally so easy it takes me two minutes wrap it around and then secure it with i usually put four kirby grips in or as you americans call it bobby pins stick them in just to grip that extra hair that you wrap around it Trust me, this Amazon pony is so good. I got a very expensive blonde one when I had the blonde hair and I've still got it somewhere. I'm trying to convince Tia to dye her hair that colour so I can send it to her and she can use it. But um, I still think this Amazon one for less than a tenner is just as good quality. Put some hairspray on the wrap around, and that is what it looks like with two seconds of putting it in. And then I'm just gonna give it a brush. And then, with that multi-use palette, I'm gonna grab any brush and, cause my hair is pretty much black, I'm just gonna take the black shade from here and I'm just going to paint that in to where my scalp is showing. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I don't take it too far forward. But this just gives the illusion of a much thicker hairline and like you're obviously not showing your scalp. So, And that does look better than that. I don't even know if you're seeing it because I can't look in my monitor when I'm facing that way. But. I've done this for years, like I was doing this when I was like 18 and it's always helped with my hair confidence. That's pretty much it. Oh! Hmm. Then I'll just go back in, check that I'm happy. I love the sparkle on the eyelids. Oh, I need to go over that with some black eyeliner. 
that's where I peeled it off and then re-put it back on. Okay, that is it, makeup done. It's one o'clock and I'll be able to come back in and check and show you how it's held up. Did he knock you off your perch? Did Saucy knock you off your perch? There you go, you got a city to one of Saucy's in one video. You're just a little bundle of love. Yeah, that is one typical work makeup look. More about the skin. I never really do big eyes, but I will quite often do like my siren eyes. I can do that again tomorrow on my day off, film it properly, but I feel like my eyes look really like red and bloodshot. I don't know why, but anyway. That is the makeup and I'll come back and show you in a good few hours. I do wear a blazer at work so you can't see my tattoo, don't worry, they wouldn't even mind if you could. And there's a close up of the skin. Looks good, right? What? My lips are so dry. Maybe I'll put on a lip gloss just to hide that a little bit. <laughs> don't look at them. Ow. Okay. I am home. The time is now. It's pretty much midnight. That was a rigmarole. All the roads to Aloha were shut. I was not expecting that. I had to do like a 40 minute detour to get home. And I'm pretending to the sausages on the telegram group that I'm lost in the wilderness. And I'm gonna keep the joke up for a couple of hours. But anyway, I'm home. This is how my makeup held up really well. Obviously it's settled in my smile lines a bit because I have to, I've got a customer service job, don't I? I've got to smile at guests. But my makeup sit on beautifully. No sign of these lashes coming off. They're so firmly on there. We've got the cats with the zoomies. But yeah, if you want to know how that makeup held up, and I've not touched it up, as you can see, not even my lipstick. Uh, sparkles are still there. Forehead looks all right. That burn's coming through a wee bit. It's still a wee bit oily, but I don't think it looks bad. Lips could do with a bit of a touch up, but I mean, I'm gonna go to bed in a minute. So that's how I do my makeup for work. I was actually just like uh, FaceTiming with Danielle and she's like, hmm, your makeup looks funny. Usually you do a bit of a wing for work. And I was like, I know I'm gonna film that separately, but I was just changing it up, Danielle. <laughs> anyway, I think makeup held up well. That's how I do my makeup for work. It always changes obviously, but this is a good, staple at least base routine on how I do my makeup and it stays on very very well that's been on like 13 hours and it's good to go so yeah I'm gonna piss off because I really want to go to bed I'm gonna make a hot water bowl put on my electric blanket well that's my wee Shein earrings I put them in in the end and uh, watch episode four of Happy Valley and hopefully fall asleep I can't wait so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did please take it a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment down below and then you want tell me a joke and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I'm gonna piss it off let me know if you want me to film with that Morphe palette like a proper tutorial with it and I will do it because I think it is one of the most stunning palettes I've ever seen in my life and I think more people need to know about it so yeah anyway I'll catch you on the flip side <laughs>